This is Hit Me With Your Best Shot. What's up, everybody? It's Anthony from Kazoto Photo, and I'm here today looking at all this stuff, and you may be sitting there going, man, this guy's counter is a mess. But what we're doing here today is water drop photography. Now, if you watched this episode, this past episode of Hit Me With Your Best Shot, the challenge we drew was water. Now, I like that. Uh, one of my favorite things is doing water drop photography. Uh, it's one of the first things I fell in love with uh, in photography. So we're going to do a little bit of that today. Um, and I'm going to record this to uh, hopefully show you all how you can do it with you know, some photography equipment and then a lot of stuff that's in your kitchen. I mean, if you take a look here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. And this is a lot of stuff that I kind of acquired over time here. Uh, specifically for this purpose, if I'm being honest, that's how much I like it. But what we've got here is we've got a tripod, we've got a little mini tripod, we might try something a little different uh, with it today to get a different angle. We've got two bowls, one is going to be where the magic happens, one is going to be an overflow bowl because we're going to make a mess. Um, we've got two flashes, uh, I've actually, I think I've only ever used one in one drop before, um, and I came out with a couple of really cool ones, but uh, two is the way to go. We've got a jug full of water. We've got plenty of colored construction paper to put on a backdrop here. Um, now, I am in my kitchen here, which, you know, I don't mind making too much of a mess, but you'll see this big blackboard behind me and the one that everything is sitting on here. This is basically a, a studio box that I had a buddy of mine build. He's a really good woodworker i'll uh, put his link down in the description um so i asked him to make me this box uh specifically for this purpose so that a everything stays clean you know we don't want to make too much of a mess because we're going to be using a lot of different colors and dyes but also to help block out a lot of light when we do this uh, we're going to turn off all these lights around us. It's going to be just dark, and we're going to rely on the flashes themselves to do what we need them to do. Uh, so with that being said, I think we're about ready to get set up. Uh, this is not coffee in here. Uh, even though water drops can be frustrating enough that we're going to need them, what we have is some xanthan gum to thicken up the water. We've got all these excess Boston droppers here. And then... Uh, some food dye as well. Now I've got uh, three already made up here, so hopefully we can save a little time on that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this set up. Uh, camera, I'm using my Nikon D610. I've got my 70 to 300 macro lens from Tamron, and then we're gonna be using a uh, remote shutter release as well because uh, what I do here is everything's done manually. I don't have one of the nice Myops splashes, uh, although I am thinking about getting one. So if anybody has any experience, uh, leave it in the comments what you think of it, what you like, what you don't like, so I can hopefully make a better informed decision here. That'd be great. Um, so with that being said, we're going to get all this going. Uh, again, two flashes. We've got our triggers. We've got everything going here. And uh, we're ready to go. I've got my beer because this can be frustrating when we do this manually. So we're going to enjoy a beverage while we do it to make sure we stay calm. Um, we're going to take several hundred photos pretty quickly and hope that we have a few good ones. But you know, if we do it right, it's going to be worth it. All right, let's get it all set up.
All right, so we've got the box set up now. So I'm going to bring the camera around here, and we are going to take a look at exactly what we're going to do here with the water. You know, I can get the water here, make it a little easier. So, like I said before, we've got two bowls, okay? The small bowl is going to be the one that we're actually going to fill with water and do the drop into. Uh, the second one is a little bit of a splash overflow bowl because, you know, even though we've got this awesome studio box here, we don't want to make a mess everywhere. So we're going to just try to keep it a little clean here uh, and do it that way. And then, uh, yeah, I'll bring the camera around here and we will uh, see what we can do. Now, if you're going to get into water drop photography, uh, like I said earlier, you're going to use flash. You're going to take a lot of photos, so you're going to be fired on the highest, uh, you know, release that you can. So what I like to do, and I found this out pretty quick, is uh, I got rechargeable batteries because I realized that on my... Uh, on my flashes using regular batteries, I was just blowing through uh, batteries there. So we uh, went with our chargeable ones. It worked out much better that way. Like I said, I've never used both flashes for the same project here. I mean, you saw me take that one out of the box. So uh, getting them set to the same mode took a minute there. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, again, I'm going to pull you around here. I'm going to get this just where I want. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Um, and then we'll see what happens here. All right. All right. So you can see the way I have the box here. I've got the bowl in the middle here. I've got this plank of wood up top here. Now, this plank of wood has a hole drilled right through it here. Now, what I do is I take one of the balsam droppers, put it in the hole, hold my remote trigger in one hand, and I give it a little squeeze, hit the trigger, flash, 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 and we see what happens. Uh, so now one of these flashes is going to go it at the water here and we're going to adjust it a little bit and what I want to make sure everybody knows here when we're doing water drop photography is there's going to be a lot of trial and error uh, in the beginning when you're getting everything set up when you're figuring out where everything goes it takes a little bit of work so don't get frustrated it's going to take some time um, it's Annoying. Um, <laughs> I would like to say it's easier, but it's not. Um, but that's also what makes it fun, is doing something a little different that you really have to set your mind to, you have to think about. Um, and we're going to see what we can come up here. Now you'll see I've got these two pieces of paper here. So right now I've got white because we can throw a couple, you know, little gel filters over here. We're also using the color drops. So we're hoping to get it to really pop out off of here. So now when we're focusing, uh, we're going to take this marker here, and this has been my trusty marker for focusing. We're going to put it right in the middle here, okay? And then we're going to look through the camera 
and make sure we focus directly on here. So we'll go through that process and get ourselves all set up and uh, see where we're at here in a minute. Uh, so it's going to take me a few more minutes and we'll go from there. So, we finally got everything set up the way we wanted here. Uh, it took a little longer than I wanted, but that's okay. It always takes a little extra time here, uh, especially the getting the focus part. Um, so, to run everybody through again exactly what I did here, took this marker, put had my wonderful fiance hold it in the bowl here while I got focus. And we tested where the drips were coming down, uh, moved the bow a little, refocused. So we should be good on the focus part. Um, we'll find out after the first uh, picture or two. I'm trying to make sure I don't bump into my camera here. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't done this since uh, last winter. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, find out what happens. and. Hope we get some good ones. Alright, so we're going to review the pictures, see if we got anything good there. Um, just kind of get an idea of the focus and the lights, uh, I noticed only one of the flashes fired off there. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure out why that second one didn't go. Um, so we'll see. So none of that was good. So we're gonna uh, see what we can get here. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. It's gonna take a little while. All right, we're a couple hours in now. Made a complete mess of my kitchen counter. Uh, we're gonna go review the shots and see if we got anything good. Yeah, if there's anything good, we'll post it at the end. <laughs> 